Hi, welcome to Penny's Crafty Creations. Thanks for taking time out every day to hang out, chit chat, craft, and create with me. Today I'm doing the open collab hashtag deck the year. It is where you take a single card throughout the year, and my king is a little beat up here. Um, you just take one card and you alter it throughout the year. It is the perfect size for an ATC card because it is two and a half by three and a half, and it is just the perfect size. So I've already gone ahead and glued my card down to my book page here. I'm just going to rip that out. And I have picked this Introduction to Literature. Poems by Lynn Alton Burn and Leslie Lewis L. Lewis up at my local library. It was in really rough shape but I really love the pages. They are beautiful and they have some gorgeous poems on them. So I just took a couple pages out of the front here and I've got my card already glued down so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that out and I'm just kind of going with the flow on my card seeing where it takes me kind of organic crafting today and then we'll put those into our box for the scooped sentiments later on so we have the titles of the poems on the card I love that and I kind of want those to show through but I want to add a stamp to it too. So I was going through my box in my closet and I came across this gorgeous stamp. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp that baby up nice and good on the top here. Get it so it, she is covered with some ink there. And that's the only stamping I'm going to do with her. And then I'm kind of just going to drop it down and see where it lays. Give it a good little jiggle jiggle on there. And oh, that is pretty. Look at that. That came out gorgeous. I could leave it just like that, but I'm not going to. I want to add a little bit of pretty to it. And I think that will look gorgeous over that, do you think? Maybe I'll just leave that. I really like that. I thought about putting this over it. Kind of dumb it down, but that is gorgeous. So we're going to leave it like that. And then I have some other pretty little items here in my bee dish that I thought I would add. Um, I got this mushroom chipboard. Make sure there's only one here. Because it did come two to a pack. I think there's only one there. So I got this. Thought that would be pretty to add and then we have this gorgeous leaf in this frame here and then there's this pretty flower and then i made this flower i'm not sure i'm going to use it because it's kind of big and it's going to take up a lot on here and it'll take away from that pretty design that i have so i may not use it so we'll put that in the dish for now but I really liked this frame, so I thought that would be pretty. Maybe have a little bit off-centered, like it's coming off the page, and then I can trim that away. I really like that, so I think that's what I'm going to do with that. So we're just going to ink glue up the bottom here, just to see where it's going to land. And make sure I got the part that's got the glue. And we're going to off center a little bit, kind of tilt it because I think that's really pretty. And we're just going to push it down. I really like how off center that is. And then we're going to trim that top off and we're going to save the top for another project. Oh, that's so pretty. Pop that back in there. Now I have this gorgeous leaf and I want to ink it up a little bit, but I only want the edges done. So hopefully it works. We're just going to drag it across the piece here. Just dragging it on those edges. I could take out one of the lash brushes, but I just think that it will be pretty there. And I do have my little brush here, this one here, so that one could help too. Oh yeah, that's going to help too, get right on those edges. And I'm just pushing that in there. 
and it's just brushing it on there. It's really highlighting the wrinkles in the paper. I think I'm going to do the whole thing. <laughs> just because I really like the way it's looking with those highlights in the paper. Isn't that pretty? So that's the before and that's the after. I really like that it highlights those wrinkles in that paper. Put that over there. Grab our glue. And I'm Barely touching the bottom of that stem there. And I'm gonna pop it over here. Maybe there. There works. And adhere really nicely. I wasn't expecting it to do that. Now I have these two flowers. This one. And then the mushroom not sure if I want to use the mushroom or not. I mean it's pretty. So that's with the mushroom. It's really pretty. And then that's with the flowers. And I think I kind of like the mushroom better. So mushroom it is. I think it looks prettier. It pops a little bit more and the colors kind of match the piece here. Grab my tweezers. Oops, not my tweezers. So we're going to pop the mushroom here. And it's gonna fold down a little bit because my leaf was a little thicker and the mushroom's not, but that's okay. And now I'm gonna add some sparkle. So I found these in the closet too. And these are kind of, I picked them up last year, I think it was, to do a project. And then I forgot they were in there. They went into the back of the closet. It seems to happen a lot with some crafty supplies went into the back of the closet and got forgotten and I have a lot of colors and I have the stickles and the fabric paint so I have a lot of glittery stuff that I can add to this so I'm kind of gonna go with this one or this one I think it would look really cool like in the center to kind of make it look like it's a frame in there very slight difference in color so I want to see what their colors are going to be first so we're going to put some on here because I don't want a lot of it and I want it to kind of blend in so that is the first one and that's the second one I think I like the second one better it's not as clumpy so that's the first one, which is really clumpy. That's the second one. I think I'm going to do the second one. I just find it's not as clumpy as that first one. So I'm just going to go ahead and move it all around there. I know it's going to take quite a while to dry, but it's giving it some really pretty... really really pretty accent on that glue and I got these in the glitter department at Hobby Lobby so I'm going to just tap it on my desk here to try and get it a little bit smoothed out which it did work really nicely so that's going to dry beautifully, but I want to add more color because, I mean, it needs a little bit of color, right? I need something right here. I mean, I still have that flower. I could put the flower on there, kind of off center, but then we're going to be completely off center and it's going to hide all that beautiful work and that stamping behind there. So I think I'm going to choose the gold one. Let's see if this one's going to work. 
think it's going to. I think the gold will work beautifully. Yeah, look how pretty that gold is. It's not a stickle, and I do have some stickles. I have this gold stickle, but they're kind of similar. I mean, even the bottle shape is similar. This is just glitter glue, and this is the stickles, which is pretty much a glitter glue, right? But I think I'm going to go with this one. And I think I'm just going to, like, I don't know, maybe do a couple of do-do-do's. <laughs> We'll just like add a couple of like little lines. So just a couple of do do do's. There. Kind of like do 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 the lines. And just shake the bottle back as you're doing it. So it just added that little bit. A touch of that pretty on that card just a couple of do do's so that is my card it's finished and it is so pretty I really love it normally I would punch a hole but what I've been doing is I've been using my cards up and putting them into my journals and um, adding them to snippets so I just really love how this one's turning out and I can't I'm excited for that to dry to see how it's gonna look if it gives it like that little framey picture and what it does to the ink behind it. So I, if I remember, I'll share this part in um, a community post or a short so that you can check it out. I'll try and remember and write that down so that um, you can see what it looks like when it's finished. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And ooh, before I forget, there are a few other channels that are taking part in this collaboration. They are Scrapbooks and Memories. A bullet for my snail mail, Sassy Southern NC Girl, Crafting Rose, Crafts and Tea with Janet Kay, Susan's Heartstrings, Kim's Inspired Life, and Martha Makes Art. <clears throat> Excuse me. I lost my voice for a second. And I will link them down below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video.